Is it me you're looking for? I don't think so. You are looking for the best, finest, most delicate and delicious sugar there ever was in the history of music. And the master, the master sugar maker is Lionel Richie. Mmm, it's so good. Let's just do it. Oh, hello.
A warm welcome to my help section to this. This is quality sugar you cannot just buy on any, uh, in any trucker stop. It's uh, the highest quality sugar there is in its Lionel Richie sugar. So let's start with this. As usual, you can learn the piece um, completely with when you have a one verse and one chorus, uh, which is what they often do in tutorials. I also play the solo and I also make the second and third verse a little bit richer from the accompaniment. Uh, you don't have to, but you can. So we will look at typical things here. I cannot stop for all the details. That's why I have the slow replay in the end. Many of you know that already, where you can learn that uh, at your own speed. Let's have a look at the typical um, rhythmic structure in this piece. We have this. So what are these? I know it's when they're white plastic keys, but um, these are fourth notes, huh? One and two and three and four. And these you can dissect further into 16th notes. One to and to two to and to three to and to four. To, and, and these 16th notes are all we need to know in the right hand, uh, plus the syncopation of the 16th notes. So let's start with the first line where we have the upbeat uh, and and now it goes one uh, one to and to two and three and to four and to one to and two and three. You see sometimes they come in between those um, fourth notes but making you aware of them uh, usually helps um, you listening to it and then, ah, yeah, get it. So one more time. One to and to two to and to three to and to four to and to. You see, here we have a syncopation and to, and the next one stays empty, which makes this a syncopation. So, and to one to and to two to and to three to and to four to and to one to and to two to and to three to and to four to and to one to and to two to <laughs> one to and to two yes Many of you don't need uh, this counting, but I know some do, especially when it comes to these syncopations. So just be aware uh, where they come in between those fourth notes, like. And the straight left hand, which starts in fourth notes, will be your metronome. That makes it actually quite easy to learn, you know? It's actually quite an easy piece. And. Uh, so you have these, uh, in the first words, you have the, uh, the fourth notes that will be your metronome. And then I start with the, uh, when we um, go to the chorus, I start with this, with the left hand stretching over one octave into the eighth notes, like one and Two and three and four and to one and to two to and three and four. Again, these steady eighth notes will also help you as your metronome, uh, so you can easily see where two come on these on one of those, like. See, that's how you have to proceed. Yeah, one and two, two two and yeah, and then we go on to the chorus. Um, the rhythmic idea stays the same throughout the whole piece with these sixteenth notes. So. You see, always eighth and sixteenths, so that's why it's easy to learn. And then we are 
hitting right on this one here. I know many know this, but always newbies here and I have to explain this. This is a little, if you want so, um, from, from the professional tricks and I want everybody to learn it. I want it, it takes little effort and then you have a really that professional emotional sound that you know from records all over the world. Um, it's this, it's a very, very much pop piano uh, where we want to play this one and uh, we sort of, we fake to play this one and very quickly move to the right note, the target note. Um, I call it also two finger slide, so like this. Practice it just as if this, if you're a cat and this is your paw and uh, this is a hot oven. Right? And you just, <laughs> you, you, you do the best you get there, as quick as you can as a cat. So, or have you seen a cat who likes to stay on the hot oven or on the hot tin roof as a very good, great film is called, so yeah, you know that, eh? Cat on a hot tin roof with Paul Newman. Okay. And then it's really um, easy if you know the trick. And here it comes again. Please invest some time. Please do me the favor, invest some time in this and you will just play better piano in the future and everybody will adore you. And that is what you learn piano for. Um, then we have this again. You can learn this on your own because I want to make my way up to the harder stuff. Uh, here we have, here I start. Yeah, bit of octaves, but octaves is, in my experience, what many people can play. And th sometimes I just put one note in the middle here that represents uh, the chord, in this um, case, the third of the G. So sometimes I put another chord note in it to complete the chord. Here again. Here we have this one again. And here again, you can easily see where the 16th notes are coming. Here and here. Here, 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 here. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I cannot go through every detail here, just giving you the main ideas um, how this is constructed. And then we have this, um, The sheet music I uh, notated this as a trill, but you can, as I did also play it as a triplet. Yes, everybody played as a triplet, like da 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 da. Okay, let's do a small exercise from this because it sounds nice, and I think it's also in the original. Da 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 da. You can also say it's th six. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Easy, 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 easy. Just keep your hand loose like you're about to beat somebody, but no, no, we don't beat anybody here. We just beat the beat out of the beat. Okay, and then we have, and we have one big exception, um, but that shouldn't make you in any way um, fearful. It's a 32th note, a 32th note. Like we're coming here. Second verse it is. Uh, here we go. One, two, and so then we end with that note, with the A here on the G. We are in the second verse. One, two, and dick, dick, dick. Okay, you can play a lot of that also, a little bit, little bit stretchy, uh, chewing gummy, chewing gummy. That's a really brilliant word, Christian, um, inventing uh, English words, really, okay. So, 
So you just make sure that you hit the G together with the A here, okay? And, and then we move on. Why do we move to, uh, do we have to move on so fast? Because the, uh, the torture dun dungeon is just waiting for you. It's the next chorus. Where I dare to do the, um, the, the uh, accompany pattern of bass, voicing, bass, voicing. It's a great, great uh, ballad style accompaniment. Why? We have this fourth feeling and we have the bass covered and we have the chord covered. Yeah, that's why it's so good. Where do we know this from? From all of classical piano, you know, like uh, bah, bah, from Chopin and... Uh, ah, that's a long time ago. Okay, so here again we have it. And uh, this means you got to jump and make sure the right hand is hitting roughly the right notes and not just grabbing into oblivion and how do you learn how do you practice this you of course you learn before the the structure of the chord we have the d minor 7 chord for example and you look at it more than once you look at it like five times or six times so that you don't forget it once you let it go yeah can you see it still can you see it still? That's the way how to how to practice it. I do sessions with my students here where I say, okay, play D minor seven. And then I say, now put your hand back into the lap. Can you see it? We want control. We don't want random access like, yeah, yeah, I see it, master. Because you didn't. So I said, do you see it? Do you see it? Okay, now play it. And then they have it. Do you, again, do you see it? Yes, hit it. And that's how you what, how you proceed with all the chords here that you have to find in um, in a in a jiffy in a fraction of a second when you come from here bam and you know where it is you practice this one you see that's how you do it and after a while <clears throat> after a couple of times you're free for the right hand so that has to become a half automatism I call it half automatism so you still have to watch with the quarter of your left eye but you, then you can you can do the right hand on top of that. So practice this left hand separately with the method I just showed you. Where it is, where is this, where is this, where is this, and so on. Um, then uh, we have, uh, do, 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 we, structure is the same, counting is the same. This is really just the, the, the bit you have to learn and this is the bass voicing, bass voicing pattern uh, until you can add the right hand. And then comes, of course, here. Now we have in the, a couple of bars into the solo, we have this little thingy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look what we are having here. First, these are triplets. So it's the exception here in this piece. One. And of course, a little, put a little bit of um, of uh, bluesy, just just a little bit. Sometimes it's just great in, in pop music, um, even if it's such, such a um, white sugary uh, mountain as this one, to have a little um, bluesy element, just a little bit. Like, and I think um, it's even happening in this solo. There's a small solo in the piece. Da, 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 da. And this comes by this uh, first the triplets one da 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 dum ba da 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 dum. It's it, you you put three even notes on one of these ba 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 bum. That's the triplet feeling. You come from this bum da dum ba bum ba bum and then ba da 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 dum. Yeah. Do that a couple of times to come from 16th feeling into triplet feeling to get that change right. Dun da dum ba bum ba bum da ba 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 da da da. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, triplet and then we have this one. Yeah, again this lovely small bluesy sound here with two fingers uh, that needs practice 
And many think what you cannot manage within 10 minutes of the tutorial, it's too hard and I am too diff too, do diff too, I'm doing too difficult stuff. No, that's an illusion. Yeah, many think this is McDonald's and I just offer you cheeseburgers and you gulp them down and that's it and that's a good tutorial. Now, good tutorial is that makes you work on your own and shows you how to sound great if you add a little bit of your own sweat to it. Okay, here we have the two finger thing with the um, going from the fourth finger to the third finger. This is the target note and again, you're the cat on the hot uh, tin roof here on the E flat and the ba, ba, da, 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 da. do that separately ba, da, 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 da. okay ah, I like that image with the cat on the hot tin roof and we have this little thing I stole from the original arrangement half of my life is stolen from somewhere because blues piano is stealing all the time and my tricks are also stolen. And this this one, from the original arrangement, I like, bah, bah. what is it? One to and to two to and to three to and to four to and to one to and to two to and to one to and to 16 notes. And just give it a little bit more meat in the fingers. If you have already meaty fingers that look like German sausages, perfect. Otherwise you pretend because it needs a, bit, a little bit of more you know, meat, what I just said, like one to and two. It's like a little break. It's like a little break and to have strong syncopation on the one to. One to. And then you, you touch the, just like a, you, nothing happened, the fourth note you continue. And so again, one to and. And then you do this. The trill here. If you cannot play the trill like a trill, you just, uh, this one, you do that also in triplets, but the sound is great, keep the sound like, yes, instead of the three trill you do, of course put a little bit of feeling in, let it not, don't play it like a German robot, but um, uh, full of heart, you know, you let it swell a little bit. You know, pretend that you have a heart inside your chest. And uh, so, that's in general my advice is uh, uh, don't, you know, that's the, that's the advantage of, this, of these tutorials with the teacher, is you, you don't just copy the notes but you also copy how he plays. You know, many of you think, I got the notes, then I did it perfectly well. No, many of you don't dare to put emotion in, in their playing. They play like, hello, is it you I'm looking for? I miss you, so. Yeah, they don't dare, especially the man, you know? Come on, let go, let go. You can't even cry if you play this, you know. Hello. <laughs> is it you I'm looking for? And then you look at the mirror and you say, no, that's not what I'm looking for. That's just me. So, do these as triplets. Okay, now we come to this little run. Now we're coming to this uh, run that is probably the hardest bit in the whole piece. The first I show it in regular tempo. What is it? One tap triplet triplet with the fourth finger starting on the C. So the first one is da 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 here and then first finger on the E. One, two, one more time and then I gotta go. It's too long otherwise. The tutorial is getting, it's getting too long.
okay? That I can't do more for you. I'm very sorry. But you can. You can buy the MIDI file. Buy the MIDI file and you can learn it with a cup of Earl Grey tea in the coziness of your home at the time. You can, you can slow it down, you can loop and you can help my channel. Buy the MIDI file or the sheet music, okay? So where are we now? And the rest is easy. It's easy in the fade out, you know, make it nice with this. Not like a, uh, whatever, um, British horse riding over the A, um, but make it a butterfly. If you want, you can cry again. And then deception ending in A major. That is sugar deluxe. That really is sugar deluxe. Thanks for your um, attention. Thanks for your uh, patience with me. And I see you in my next tutorial. Now it's a slow replay for you. Um, subscribe to my tutorials. I give my best. I sweat out my best for you. So become my friend on my channel. And I see you anyway with the, in the next song I will do for you. Bye bye.
I hope you like my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.